Welcome to another segment of Credit Matters TV. I'm Arturo Sanchez, Director at Financial Services Ratings. We recently published an article that touches on the new regulatory liquidity requirements for Mexican commercial banks. The recently issued liquidity rules for commercial banks seem to be in line with international standards, particularly those under Basel III. In our opinion, these rules will enhance transparency and promote prudent liquidity management in the Mexican financial system. However, we don't expect these measures to affect our assessments of the bank's funding and liquidity. The Mexican financial regulators have established a liquidity coverage ratio as part of the new rules. The ratio aims to require banks to have sufficient eligible liquid assets to cover net total cash outflows in a 30-day period, similar to that of Basel. Nevertheless, as we've said in the past, the LCR 30-day horizon is relatively short. Moreover, we we'll believe it's impossible to capture all important aspects of a bank's liquidity profile in a single ratio. In our view, banks should supplement the minimum regulatory requirement with international risk management tools, such as cash flow mismatch reports, stress tests, and scenario analysis over a range of time horizons to provide a more comprehensive picture of their liquidity. Liquidity in general is also adequate for Mexican banks. Our main liquidity metric has remained fairly stable for the past four years. A factor that supports our current liquidity assessment for the bulk of Mexican banks is the large portion of government securities they hold, which we consider to be highly liquid. Also, in general, Mexican banks have favorable debt maturity profiles. External funding has uh, remained low because only a few large banks have issued debt abroad. The amount of market debt and other credit facilities that mature in the next 12 months is about $19.2 billion, or just 6% of the bank's total funding. Therefore, we view the bank's refinancing risk as limited. We also don't expect high funding needs for the next 12 months. As such, we think external funding will be very limited amid the likely higher interest rate environment and marginal local market debt issuances. Consequently, the bank's wholesale funding maturities will remain manageable. Thank you very much and see you in our next segment of Credit Matters TV.